Okay, everybody, I'm back, the multi-tool addiction, or MT addiction, once again, with another video for you guys. So, I know I said in my last video that my next video would be on something that I was currently using to film that video with. Well, I lied, because I got this lovely little multi-tool right there, the Gerber Dime. And, to be honest, <coughs> I've been using it as my EDC tool, um, lately, and I freaking fell in love, I fell in love with this dang thing. It's such a nice little tool. Um, so I'll spill the beans on what my other thing is, it's actually a Gerber Steady that I purchased. Um, I'm actually using it as my tripod right now for my iPhone, which is working tremendously, so... That video will be coming shortly. I can't say which or when it will come because, frankly, I'm using it to take my videos now since I can shoot in HD with my phone. Okay, <clears throat> so where were we? Um, yes, the Gerber Dime. Personally, I think it's the squirt killer. The Leatherman squirt killer. Here is the Leatherman squirt. ES4. PS4 is the same size, no difference. And if you don't know the sizes of those, there's a juice. You can see it's a little bit bigger. And then if you still don't know the size of that, Leatherman Blast. Okay, you get the point? Okay. So we're going to leave these two out. I'm going to leave the squirt here for reference. Um, the Gerber Dime. I found this in Gander, no, Dick's Sporting Goods for $20. And I like it better than my my squirt, actually. So, um, let's start into the review, I guess. Um, you have a bottle opener right here, which does work. I would show you, but all my bottles are screw-off bottles, and I mean, I guess it would work, but eh, <clears throat> not worth it right now. Then it has <clears throat> what the squirt doesn't have, pardon my coughing set of tweezers right here you slide those out nice little set of tweezers you know splinters and things okay so you slide those back in and then we'll start off with the main blade right here and I kind of, I actually like this blade. I, re, I really do. First off, because it's ground on both sides. It's not chisel ground, which is nice. See, grind and grind. It actually came pretty sharp, too. I'm going to use the Leatherman squirt for reference. If you look at the squirt's knife, it's ground. And it's not ground on the other side. It's chisel ground. I hate those. They don't cut straight. So, there you can see the size of the blades. They're, the Gerber's a little bit shorter, but I think the quality of the blade's a little bit nicer. So that's the main blade, and I like the shape. It just seems a little safer not having a point on such a small tool, because you might slip off of it, and you don't have the point really as much to stick you. Uh, the next blade in this tool is... The retail package opener. It's, um, actually, let me pull out my wingman. <clears throat> um, Gerber wasn't the first manufacturer to come up with the idea of a retail package opener. Leatherman did with the wingman. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to use this yet, but I like having the ability on such a small tool because that's usually when I have trouble opening a package is because I'm wearing like comfortable workout shorts or something like that with just pockets, no belt, so I don't want to bring, you know, a big sheath with me or anything like that. And then I'm like, I don't have a big knife and this and these work well. This one works well, I know that. And judging by the way Gerber did it, I think it'll work just as well as this one. So we'll set this one off to the side for now. Because it's not this review. 
So that's a nice little package opener right there. Uh, we'll stay on this side here, pull out the scissors. Now if you look at the scissors, uh, it's got a patent number right there. 5,946,752. I don't know what that means, but all I know is these are nice little scissors on such a small little tool. Judging it or comparing again to the squirt, they're just about the same size as each other, but the squirts feel loose, have a little bit of play in them. I mean, I know they cut, they cut paper, but everything else seems to fold in between the blades, right up in, in between the blades up in here, and not a big fan of that. With these, I haven't had anything fold between them. There's good tension between them. You can really feel that they're pushing against each other and cutting. And they just, they just work. They work really well. I've been using them ever since I got this. Um, yeah, so probably the best scissors I've seen on such a small tool. Um, well, on a small tool with the pliers on the inside, which I'll get to. Next up, I'm going back to the side with the main blade on it. You have your Phillips screwdriver and file. It's got the file on each side. You got your just slanted and then your cross cut. Um, comparing this to the squirt, you don't have anywhere near the file capacity that the squirt does. Which is one thing I like about the squirt. Don't get me wrong. I really like the file on the squirt. It's a good nail file. It works really well. Big, long length. It's even got notching on it. This one, you don't have notching. All you do is have those two patterns. But the reason why I am I think they didn't put a huge file on it is because you get that package opener. And the package opener takes a whole big area. So if they didn't have this package opener, which is actually more useful to me than a file, at least on a tool this small, because I can still file my nails down with a file that small. I'm okay with that. I think this comes a little bit more in handy than this on this size tool. So that file doesn't bug me at all. The Phillips head screwdriver works pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's only two-dimensional, though, so your limitations are, well, not your limitations are, I guess you have limitations. Um, here's your flathead driver, just like a standard medium-sized flathead. Nothing, um, nothing fantastic, fantastic. Uh, we'll just compare it to the Leatherman's flathead if I can find it. That's Phillips. Here we go. So you have a little bit more reach on the Leatherman, but the Leatherman's also encloses a bottle opener, which is when you have a big bottle opener. So, I don't know. That's how Gerber did it. I'm okay. It works fine. Like I said, if I'm, doing, if I'm using this tool to do a screw, it's a screw that's pretty much open. Or I can just turn the thing. So, I have no complaints really. Opening it up. Nice little set of pliers. It's got more on it than a normal set of pliers. I'll explain it in a second. If you can see through it right there, up in the front, they have a flat portion, which is like, it doesn't have any grooves and it, it's smooth. But it meets completely flush with the with the other part. I'm gonna say that's more like a tweezer type of thing, where you can grab and pull. Um, then you do have your needle nose pliers if you do need the grips on it right under that, so you can come to like about that, and it'll be completely completely level. And then you'll have the smooth and the grip and the um, tooth bite, biting down on it, whatever you're pulling, and it'll work just fine. Then you have your bolt grippers, 
and your wire cutters. Um, I was actually watching a review on this tool from um, Canada Lover with a K and an L U V E R. I was watching his review of this tool, and that's actually why I even considered it because I was like, oh, that looks pretty sweet. Because um, sometimes Gerber's quality in their tools is kind of lacking, at least compared to Leatherman. But I saw this at the shelf, and it was the only one left on the shelf, and it was the black one, which is the one I wanted to originally order from Amazon. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. And I'm really happy I did because I have no play in my in my um, plier head at all. Good spring action pliers. Um, pliers meet to a perfect nose. Oh, I can't even get that in frame. Can't even see. But they meet perfectly at the nose. Um, it meets up when you close it perfectly. I mean, it's got a nice snap. I mean, it doesn't wiggle at all. There's no play in the in the tool. I mean, it it's it just feels so solid and so quality that it seriously compares to this. I mean, <clears throat> my squirt doesn't have any play in it either. But I don't know. There's something about this Gerber. I'm just I'm just digging it. And this was. I was a little iffy about this at first, sticking out, this bottle opener just chilling there. But what I noticed is, on this part right here, that's kind of rounded right there. So I think, you know, Gerber might say, hey, if you don't want to use this little lanyard ring, you have that nice secure piece of steel right there to hang your tool from. Which I think is what I'm going to do. I might get a little S carabiner, or just a little small carabiner, to click that through on my keys. So then it's just quick and easy to detach. I might take this little lanyard ring off so it doesn't just rattle around there. So I can just take it off and take it on whenever I need it. And I think that would work really well. Um, I don't know how much more I can say about this little tool. All I know is it, it's the quality, I would say, meets and or surpasses Leatherman's in this, in this range right here, in this size range definitely meets or surpasses Leatherman um, I don't know it's just something about it I just I love the fit and the finish of it except I will show you right there or above my finger there you can see that silver spot which just doesn't bug me at all but when you open the tool right in the corner down there you can see when you pull this one open it grinds on that and it's, it took the black coating off so it's not indented at all it's just taking the coating off which I don't care I didn't buy this thing to look pretty I buy them because they work <clears throat> so that's my review of my Gerber dime I'm probably gonna buy another one I like the black and the green one maybe the black and the red I haven't decided yet if you want to send me or comment on the video, send me a PM or comment on the video, green or red, and I will go from there. Um, and I'm just going to do a little preview into my next video. I'm just going to be sliding on through here. I retired Leatherman. Look at that old Leatherman logo compared to what they have now which I can't even find one that's not all black there that's the new Leatherman logo look at that look at that thing so if you can guess what's in here pretty sweet um, but that's about all the time I got guys so Gerber Dime great little pocket tool 20 bucks I wouldn't surpass it if, I, if you had the chance to buy it peace